everyone. Hope you're all okay. Today we're going to start a new story called What the Ladybird Heard on Holiday by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Lydia Monks. The illustrator is someone that draws the beautiful pictures throughout the story. So they will draw the characters and they will draw the setting of the story as well to show us the beautiful places that the characters go to throughout the story. Looking at the front cover, it shows us and maybe hints what the story is going to be about. It gives us an idea of what to expect in the story. So from the pictures in the story, I can see that there's going to be lots of animals in the story. And the title, What the Ladybird Heard on Holiday, lets me know that the story is really going to be about the ladybird because we're finding out what the ladybird heard on holiday. So I think the ladybird is the main character in the story. Also from the title, we know that they're going on holiday. I wonder where they are going to go. Can you think of another story about lots of animals? Maybe a story about wolves or a story about a tiger. I know that we read lots of stories in class about animals. Can you think of one? What's your favourite story about an animal? I'd love to know. There are lots of animals on this front cover. We have a tiger, a lion, monkeys, an elephant, lots of different animals. And it really got me thinking, what is my favourite animal? Because as we all know, I love animals. But I'm thinking, which animal is probably my favourite? Why don't we play a little game? And then you can play this game at home with your family. A bit like Guess Who, I'm going to describe an animal. And I want you to see if you can work out which animal I am going to describe. But to help me, I'm going to really look at the animals and I'm going to look at their features and their body parts to help me. Because just say... If I was talking about a lion, I wouldn't say that it had a big trunk because we know that lions don't have big trunks. So you've really got to think about the animal and its body parts. Its size, its colour. Those are the things that are going to help your adult or your family member to work out which animal you are describing. The animal I'm thinking of isn't on the front cover of this story. It's a different animal. The animal I'm thinking of has four legs, four legs, and it also has four paws. This animal has a very small button nose and a very good sense of smell. It also has a tail that wags to show people that it's feeling happy. Can you guess which animal I'm thinking of? A dog! You're right! Why don't you now play this game at home with your family? You could all describe an animal thinking about its body parts and its features and see if your family members can guess which animal you are thinking of. A bit like guess who? You could do it with the animals on this um, front cover of the story or you could think of your favourite animal. Or if you're feeling really sneaky, you could choose a really unusual animal. Maybe a wild animal that we don't often see. See how good your description is. And how closely you have looked at the body parts. Once you've done this, if you have a pen and paper, why don't you draw the animal? And then even better, once you've finished drawing the animal, you could label the body parts. So, for example, you could draw the elephant and you could label the elephant just like we do in class. We've done it quite a lot in science before. We could label the big ears, the trunk, the legs and the tail. You could also think about the size of the animal and the colours. For example, we know that an elephant is a huge animal. It is ginormous, especially when you compare it to a small monkey 
a ladybird or even a cat or dog. I hope you enjoyed today's video. On tomorrow's video, we're going to read the story and we are going to find out what the ladybird heard on holiday. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow.